Trent? We're Trent Trebles? Oh, you're uh, Peter. Yeah, bro. From Bro, bro the Habit. We, yeah, bro. Nice to meet you. Hey, what's up, dude? I uh, was wondering if we get a room tour. Yeah, let's okay, go. Let's get, get you, put this on right here. Come with me. Right. This is the lobby. Uh, we are in the Millennium apartment in District 4. Uh, I got a two bedroom, pretty small, cozy, 65 square bed. meters. Two bed, one bath. So we got it for a steal because it's through a friend and we're paying 15 million a month. Which is how much USD? Which is 600 USD. Yeah, so I'll take you guys up to the gym right now. So we're just like one floor right above the gym. Really convenient. Gym and pool are on the same floor. So I haven't been here very much. So I think it's this way. Oh, there is like a check-in desk right here. So maybe I'll just see how far we can get. Oh, really? Is it the face ID? Yeah, it's face ID. So I actually haven't tried the face facial recognition yet, so we'll see how it works. Oh, this is the pool, yeah. Is this the same pool? Yeah, we checked it Oh, okay. So you're good. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see a pool. So this is the pool level? Yeah. Yeah, so the gym, it might be the same gym. I don't know if it's the same gym as a, so the creative name KB. Is this it? This is the same gym. <laughs> okay. This is the same gym. All right. Yeah, I wouldn't know. I never use it. So. so you have the same gym? You have the face ID? Yeah. So you and Kim are pretty much neighbors? I didn't know it's the same gym. So she actually has to walk over to my building to use the gym. So uh, cut to Katie's place. Uh, yeah, it should be because whoever... Um, Whoever. My friend who was staying there before, renovated. she renovated it herself. So yeah, it's according to her aesthetic. Tell us about your place, where are we? All right, come on in guys. All right, this is Amanda. Hello. That's my wife. All right, this is our place. Let's yeah. The so here's the kitchen. Um, very small and cozy, but we got some really, really good things here. Uh, nice fridge. All this amenities came with the place. Very new, very high quality. Um, and I was washing the dishes. <laughs> yeah. Um, the water filtration system is a huge bonus in Vietnam. So we don't have to order water. Uh, yeah, it came with all of this here. This is custom made cabinet. Uh, this is something that you don't usually get an oven in Vietnam. So this has been nice. Oh, we haven't even used it yet. But, uh, and we also have a dishwasher, which my wife's not using. <laughs> yeah, so it comes, yeah, there's another rare amenity here. It's a di I don't even know how to open it. You just lift it up. You just lift it up. There you go. So we actually have a dishwasher too, so that's pretty nice. We're so Vietnamese, we don't use it though. How about this fridge? Is this like a smart fridge? I don't know. It looks like a smart fridge, but yeah, we haven't figured it out. It's a little tiny though, but yeah, here's our fridge right now. Um, yeah. Let's walk it through the, how about the so we have actually have a wine cooler. We don't use this. I don't really drink that much. So yeah, but this came complimentary with this place. So we have some wine in here, nice and cooled. Yeah. Yeah, what do you call this? Yeah, so really nice setup. Um, yeah, our friend decorated all this. It all was here when we moved in. Um, yeah, so. Nice little comfy couch area. Here is our view. Nothing spectacular, but I still really like it. And yeah, nice cozy little green space here. Did and you come out here? not yet. <laughs> it's still too hot. <laughs> yeah, so nice what little. Are we looking at right now? So we got a little corner view of the pool, which I think is tucked away enough where I don't think people see us. Um, yeah, and that corner over there is District, that's District 4, and then District 5 over there, and right across the bridge, you're into District 1, so right into the center. Cool. Let's walk us through the little dining table. Yeah, so here's our nice dining table. Yeah, so our friend did all the decorations. It's very gray here, very brutalist design. 
Yeah, so this used to be a second bedroom, but she knocked it out to make a new space here and uh, turned it into a meditation area and Buddhist library. So we have a bunch of Buddhist Dharma books and philosophy books here in Vietnamese and English. Amanda's little workstation here. Yeah, so this is Amanda's little workstation and we have all this library space right here. And uh, yeah, so this is just the one bathroom, which is I guess kind of the downside, but it's, it's really nice. Um, yeah, everything we need. Um, it's a little bit small, I guess, for a married couple, but yeah, we're doing fine here. Yeah, it looks, it's good enough. Just go to bedroom number one. Yeah, so actually before that, this is like also another big bonus here in Vietnam is to have a fancy washer and dryer combo. So that's kind of a luxury here. And so again, don't worry about hanging your stuff. Yeah, we don't have to worry about hang drying clothes here. The... Yeah, so this is the bedroom. Yeah, so it came as is. Yeah, uh, nice and comfy. Yeah, all the design was done by my friend. And uh, yeah, we have this like really cool little movable TV stand here. Uh, we don't open this up too much because it's not very private. You get like a view of the pool and the pool gets a view of us here, but just to get a little sunlight in. Yeah, so <laughs> we're like pool level, <laughs> like straight up. Yeah. All right. Yeah, big old closet space here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So can you remind us? How oh, you gotta show this, uh, you gotta show this uh, other big, nice amenity here is this awesome ceiling AC unit. Yeah, this is awesome. It just gets the room cool super fast. Do you have one in the bedroom, a different one? Uh, yeah, there's another AC in the bedroom as well. Yeah, so yeah, this room is also, there's also AC in here. And I think, um, let me see if, <laughs> I don't think Lily wants to come out here, but here's my cat. You wanna come out, Lily? No, no, she don't wanna come out. But yeah, uh, can, can you remind us how much are you paying for this? So this place is 14 million VND a month. So that comes out to 600 US. Uh, does that include uh, service fees? Electricity? No, it does not. So probably round it up to about 700. 700. How much is that in VND per month? That is about 16? 16 million. Yeah. For a place like this. 17 million. How does yeah, it compare actually. to your, uh, your place before? Before, uh, much roomier. We had a 90 square meter, two bedroom, two bathroom. Luxury apartment as well. Beautiful view in District 7. Uh, very quiet area, not a lot going on, and very far from the center. So that's kind of the reason why we moved closer. Yeah, I'm almost 40 now. My wife's 35. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, we didn't do this as young kids. You know, this is like a adult decision. I wouldn't say midlife crisis because I'm a very happy person, but, you know, it is kind of unconventional, you know? Just like a lot of our friends have got homes now. They got like two kids by now, and we're just like... We're bouncing and just starting a whole new life in Vietnam. So it is kind of crazy. 